I asked you to send me your freelancing questions on Twitter. The most popular question I got was how to find my first client. So I thought let's do a video on it and hopefully this will help lots of you out. If you have any more questions, you know the drill. Leave a question in the comment below and it helps my engagement and my stats. Right, let's get straight into it. Clients find me mainly from GitHub and Twitter. No joke, seriously, for the last 10 plus years of freelancing, that has where everyone has found me from. Look, that doesn't has mean. where? That's bad English. That is where. For the past 10 plus years, clients have found me mainly from GitHub and Twitter. That's why I keep encouraging all of you to focus on open source and sharing what you learn on Twitter. But there are so many other ways too, such as using other platforms like Upwork. People worry that it's a race to the bottom, but if you can make a strong profile using your open source contributions, then it's not a race to the bottom, it's actually a race to the top. And don't forget the importance of adding your open source projects to your portfolio and profile. Yes, you can add your side projects to that. As I always say, open source work will get you good clients. And what do I mean by good clients? It's not just about being paid, it's about securing clients who recognize your value and your technical expertise, and that this is reflected in what you charge. But also clients who provide you with realistic, measurable, and well-defined objectives and tasks. I get many repeat clients, which is great because I love working with them. But most importantly, I treat every new client as one that I want to build a working relationship with. My tips for this are, do not overpromise, but make sure you over deliver. Your clients will let their network know about the great work that you deliver, which will widen the pool of new clients for you. Most people will choose who they engage with based on a recommendation. It's not about undercharging your rate in the hope that this client will come back to you in the future, but also don't make the mistake of trying to make a quick buck now. This will hurt your personal brand and reputation. Even if you're not trying to build a personal brand, you are. Every tweet you post, every GitHub commit, pull request, comment, issue you raise is all helping your personal brand. And trust me, this will help you, so do get involved in the conversation. Set your retainer in writing, agree logistics at the beginning, hosting, domains, etc. So there are no surprises for them or for you. The client should not be chasing you for a progress report or an update. If they do, that means you have not met their expectations. So keep the client regularly up to date. Even if they don't reply to every update, at least they've got it and they've probably read it. And if they haven't, then that's their decision. Leave the ball in their court. If there are any confusions in communication, you both know about it immediately or as soon as possible. See what I did there? Made it better. Edified it. <laughs> Hashtag debatable. Hashtag what? Debatable. Debatable. As you know, I don't believe in overnight success. It is important that you remain realistic, that building a client base takes time and also, most importantly, consistency. Consistency in your work, your pricing, and building your brand. It might look like people have become an overnight success, but it takes months or years to build this up. So that's why I want you to start right now. Share with me how you are doing this and your client success stories on socials. And don't forget to tag me. I'd love to get involved in the conversation and include my network in the conversation so we can all learn from each other. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe below and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I go live. I just realized I'm not as far forward as you were. So I hope the focus is okay and I hope um, the shadows are okay.